Hello, my name is Richard Johns and I'm the curator of prints and drawings at the National Maritime Museum, although I've chosen to talk about a painting in the museum's collection today. And it's an extraordinary portrait uh, of James, Duke of York, the future James II, painted in the early 1670s by a French artist called Henri Gascard. It's an amazing uh, image of royal power, exuberant and colourful, even in an age when portraits, royal portraits, were expected to be exuberant uh, and colourful. In some ways, it's designed to impress it on a very basic visual level, the juxtaposition of bright primary colours, the rich blue, red and gold of the, uh, the Duke's uniform, his bright green leggings, coupled with the rich drapery behind him, and the intense detail of his costume suggests that this is a person that we're supposed to uh, spend a long time looking at and admiring, admiring not only his authority but also his physical presence. Around that is a great deal of military iconography. Uh, there's a suit of armour by the Duke's feet, uh, a page is bringing in uh, a helmet. And he's dressed either as a Roman emperor, a Roman military leader, or if we take the analogy a bit further, as the Roman god of war, Mars. In the background is a naval scene, which uh, uh, combines, again, it combines the contemporary with the classical, as a, a scene of contemporary ships from the Royal Navy, um, while the figures on the shore are also dressed in Roman military uniform. The painting alludes to the Duke of York's position as Lord High Admiral, a post that he actually was given in infancy, but um, took on in earnest after the Restoration in 1660. 